Hi guys! So, um, happy Valentine's Day. Um, hope you guys had a loving day. And, um, so I thought I would show you what I was for Valentine's Day today. So I have a little black belt in my hair. And then, um, I have this shirt that my friend got me with an undershirt with gray. And a pencil skirt, which is weird for me because I don't wear pencil skirts a lot or skirts. For that matter, I don't really wear skirts a lot, <laughs> but um, my friend, but my friend wanted to wear skirts together, so I was like, okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, we both wore pencil skirts. Uh, oh yeah, and I wore black toms, but I mean, like, they're not on my feet anymore. Um, and I can't stand far enough back so you can see it. <laughs> okay, and skirts make me feel vulnerable. I, I'm like constantly pulling them down, like. <laughs> You gotta see my tech. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I had an idea because I asked about, like, what kind of videos you guys like to see. And one of my subscribers said that outfit of the day or, like, um, I not what the other suggestion was. But, um, yeah, but, like, an outfit of the day. So, I had an idea for, um, three minute Thursdays because I was thinking about changing my video day to, like, Tuesday or Thursday because on Wednesdays I always babysit. So it kind of makes it hard because when you're trying to upload a video and you kind of want to keep an eye on it so that nothing like, because sometimes my like computer will do weird things like just be a butthead. And um, so yeah, it's like, uh, oh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, so it's, um, it's easier for me probably to do it on a different day. So I was thinking about changing it. So I was thinking about um, maybe doing like every other week would be like a nice long vlog or like a theme video or something like that that's a little bit longer but then like on the other week it would be like three minute Thursdays or two minute Tuesdays or something like that I haven't completely decided yet but it would just be like a short video with an outfit of the day and a song of the day and maybe a little update so I don't know like um that's just an idea I had so if you would like that um idea then you can comment below and um also at my school i don't know if this is worldwide like with the bowling thing i don't know if it's worldwide or if it's just my school but anyway um uh, apparently this month is teen relationship violence prevention month you might not take it seriously because it's not something that everyone is seeing around them because some people don't get into bad relationships some people are just relationship smart and they are in good relationships where they're treated with respect so when they hear about it they're kind of like oh that doesn't happen like that's not real but it is because I know people who have been in bad relationships where they were not treated with respect and their boyfriend or girlfriend or significant other whatever you want to call them um, was just a jerk and they were not nice to them they would threaten them and let's get something straight here. If the person is threatening, whether it's threatening you or themselves or any kind of threatening, it's still threatening and it should not be tolerated at all. If someone threatens any person or anything or threatens you in any way, even if they're not threatening to hurt you, if they're threatening to hurt themselves, that's threatening and you can't put up with that. And yeah, so you can't let people do those things to you and especially physical abuse, but there's other ways of abuse. There's also verbal abuse, which is a really real thing. And I've seen relationships in kids and adults where people have suffered verbal abuse. And it's a serious thing because it will really emotionally and mentally hurt someone. And that's just as bad as being physically hurt. So you have to be careful about physical and um, verbal abuse. Verbal abuse is like manipulating people's words or constantly insulting someone or um, not letting someone talk, like if you're trying to talk and you keep interrupting them and um, you just don't let them say anything and you try to um, manipulate them by telling them what they think and not letting them express their own opinion. Um, so those are types of verbal abuse and they're still abuse even if it's not physical and it's not nice. So if you see a friend or yourself in a relationship where there is either physical or verbal abuse then get yourself or your friend out of that relationship. Like, you really can't force your friend to get out of a relationship, but you need to at least let them know that they're not in a good place and that that's not a safe place for them to be. So, yeah. Um, 
that was what I want to say about teen relationship violence. And it, it is a serious thing because I know people who have been through really bad relationships. So it is something to take serious and to look for in your own relationship or even a really close friend's relationship. And then another thing because it is Valentine's Day and people focus a lot about loving others and which is a really good thing because everybody needs love. But you can't forget about yourself because you need love too. And not just from other people, you need love from yourself. You have to love yourself and I know it's probably really hard for mostly teenagers and people around that really insecure age where you're really worried about how you look and everything. And um, but you have to love yourself, no matter how hard it is, you need your own love. If you act beautiful inside and out, then you are beautiful. You don't, it might be hard to believe it sometimes because you might look at people around you and be thinking like, oh, they're so much prettier than I am, or I wish I had their eyes, or I wish I had their hair, or I wish I had their body, or whatever. But even the people you look up to and think are really pretty or admire their looks or whatever, um, they have insecurities too, like, not kidding. <laughs> Because, like, if you, you don't know what kind of things a person has been to. I mean, like, you might look at a girl and think that she has a really nice body or something and you wish you had a body like her because maybe you feel like you're overweight. But who knows, that girl might have struggled with weight issues and maybe just got over it. So it might be a really, like, um, what's, what's the word? Same word, but it might be a really sensitive, sensitive, that's the word, sensitive. Okay, it might be a really sensitive topic for that person because they might have had problems with that. So you never know what someone is going through or what they don't like about themselves, but I guarantee you that every single girl out there doesn't like something about themselves. At least one thing. <laughs> Which is kind of sad when you think about it because we should be loving ourselves and not in a conceited way, but just in like you're happy with who you are. And that's an important thing too when you're in a relationship because if you don't love yourself, then you A, can't love the other person as much as you should, and you also are more likely to be in a bad relationship because you don't have enough respect for yourself. It gets really depressing if you're always constantly focusing on the things you don't like about yourself or bad qualities. I mean, like, Character flaws, that's different because those are things that you can work on, but not negatively focus on. So, but physical imperfections, you shouldn't be thinking about those things. I mean, who knows what you think you don't like about yourself, someone else might really like about you. We tend to mo notice the negative things more than the positive things, but if you really pay attention, you'll notice that people really do care about you. I dare you to just believe that you are beautiful for one day. And I mean really believe it. Like go to school or go to wherever you're going and just keep telling yourself I'm beautiful. Even if you the day before didn't think that you were, just believe that you are for at least that one day and see how it is. I guarantee you people will be more attracted to you if you believe that you're beautiful. Because I think it's an important thing for teenagers Teenagers get really depressed really easy and they look at people around them and they think, oh, I'm not pretty, I'm not pretty, but you really are because I know people who may not be the prettiest person in the world um, compared to like, like a movie star or something, but they have a good attitude and they act like they're beautiful and they have guys who like them and guys who want to date them. They have boyfriends and they have friends and People aren't talking about them like, oh, they're so ugly, because they act like they are okay with themselves. And if you're okay with yourself, then other people will be more likely to be okay with you. I ate so much chocolate today, like, <gasps> for some reason yesterday I decided that I wasn't going to eat that much more chocolate, and then this morning I realized that that was a stupid thing to say right before Valentine's Day, because I love chocolate. And then it just made me feel bad for eating all that chocolate, because I was like, oh, I was not going to eat chocolate anymore for like a while. <laughs> Shame on me, Sierra. But yeah, so I ate a lot of chocolate. Oh, you know what the really good ones? The ones that have like that orange cream on the inside. Oh, I love those. <laughs> those are delicious. <laughs> but yeah, I decided um, to be more positive because uh, that's part of the reason that inspired me to make this video about loving yourself because I don't know, like it wasn't that I was really having a hard time loving myself, but I was just feeling like I had been a little bit too negative lately. And so, um, 
after watching some of uh, this YouTuber named Gem and Nem, um, I'll put her channel links in, down there. Um, I just realized, you know, like, she has such a good attitude. I just loved her um, personality on there. And I'm not saying, like, oh, I'm trying to be just like Gemma Nem or whatever. Um, or Gemma, actually, her name is. But um, I'm just saying she made me think, okay, you know what? I've been a little bit too negative lately, and I really don't have anything to be unhappy about. So I'm just going to be positive. And I'm just going to wake up every morning and tell myself, I'm going to be positive today. I'm going to have a good day. And the first day, let me tell you, um, well... Somebody had other plans in mind because a lot of bad things happened. But in the first half of the day, I was positive and it helped me get through the second half because I decided I'm going to be positive and so I was positive. And the next day, even though I was like, okay, I might have had not the greatest day yesterday, but today is going to be even better. So I woke up and had a good day. And I decided this is really going to work. I'm just going to be positive from now on. So I just wanted to thank Gemma for um, reminding me about just having a good attitude. I'm happy with being happier. Oh, whenever I feel like a little bit like down and I'm like, okay, be positive, be positive. I just think of funny because <laughs> they're so cute. And I just think of their little noses and their little mouths and their little fingers and they're so <laughs> I always make my day better. And whenever I have a bad day, I just go and get one of my bunnies and I just lay on my bed with my bunny and I just hug them and it just makes everything okay. Or anime, or Lord of the Rings, or anything. Those things always make my day better. Chocolate. But yeah, so, um, just if you are not feeling very positive or you're not having a good day, just think of the thing that makes you, like, smile. Oh, and so I got 250 subscribers, so I'm going to be doing that Q&A, so also um, leave your questions below, and I'll answer them in the Q&A video. So thank you guys, and I hope you had a great Valentine's Day. Mwah! Mwah! Love you, subscribers!